Week 5 NFL Anytime Touchdown Props. I'll give you guys my three favorite plays, wrap them all up together into a plus 567 pay dirt parlay, and I'll also give you a plus 265 long shot play. I'm Steve Seagrave from SportsMemo.com. I have a great promo code to share with you guys towards the end of the video, save you money on a 30-day all-access pass. But for now, if you guys enjoy the content, hit the like button. Subscribe to the Wager Talk channel if you haven't already, and let us know in the comments section who do you guys have finding the end zone in week five. I'll be checking those comments and responding back to you guys. So week four was not our week. It was our first 0-3 of the season. Brees Hall, Saquon Barkley, and I can't believe Aaron Jones uh, let us down. They all had, especially Aaron Jones, they multiple chances. If you would have told me the Vikings had 28 points so quickly in that game, I would have assumed Jones had maybe even two touchdowns. Uh, but we move on to today. We're still 7-5 and five on the season. We've pulled off two sweeps, and we'll look to do it again this week. Look to bounce back. We're going to actually go to some wide receivers this week. We've had mostly running backs, some quarterbacks, so far this season. But my favorite touchdown scorer of the week is Nico Collins from the Houston Texans. Sitting at plus 115 over at FanDuel. He scored in two or four games so far in the season. But his production has been ridiculous. 30 receptions for 489 yards. He hasn't been held under 86 yards in any game so far this season. And that Bills defense, man, they had some coverage issues against the Ravens. Teron Johnson is questionable. We know Matt Milano, uh, their middle linebacker, has been out all season. And now strong safety, uh, Taylor Rapp, is out for this game. He showed up on the injury report, and he's already been ruled out for this contest. So a, a defense that's already struggled uh, to contain wideouts is now going to be without some key parts this week. Joe Mixon also expected to miss this game. And since he's been out, Collins has been the most heavily targeted wide receiver in the red zone with seven targets out of any player in the NFL. His production has just been ridiculous. I think he's going to have a huge game here, and he can score from anywhere on the field. Uh, he's been targeted actually inside the five-yard uh, five line five times out of those seven targets. So he can score deep. He can score short. First play of the day, Nico Collins plus 115. Number two on the list, an other wide receiver. Going to go to the Bengals, Jamar Chase, plus 120 over at FanDuel. Now he scored in his last two games, and it coincides with T. Higgins returning to action. Teams have now been unable to just focus in on Chase alone with Higgins on the field. In those two games, we've seen Chase catch 9 of 13 passes for 203 yards. And then we got this Ravens defense. They're number one against the run. They've allowed the least rushing yards per game by a wide margin. However, they have allowed the fifth most passing yards. So it's going to be the passing game. Bengals are going to have to throw the ball here against this Ravens defense. We know this Ravens offense can definitely push the scoring. Got a high total in this game. And I expect the Ravens to push the Bengals. And I think it's going to be a close game. And I think Chase is going to find the end zone against the Ravens. Next one, we're going to go with another one of these ones we did with Brees Hall last week where we wrap up a player plus his team's money line. You can find that over at DraftKings. We're going Jordan Mason from the 49ers, plus his his juice is just ridiculous. So we're going to include the 49ers money line here to get it down to minus 150. Still a steep price, but I see Mason scoring maybe two touchdowns this week against this Cardinals defense. He scored in three or four games so far. He's also had great production filling in for McCaffrey here. 100 plus yards in three or four games, 4.9 yards per carry on the season. Uh, this Arizona defense, along with the third most running back yards, tied for the third most running back touchdowns with five. And now Kittle, uh, he might play, but he's dealing with a rib injury. Be one less mouth to feed for the 49ers. Niners, seven and a half point home favorites. Fully expect them to win against this Cardinals team that really struggled 
against the Commanders last week, struggled against the Lions the week prior. So I see Mason finding the end zone. He's going to get plenty of work. He's had uh, plenty of carries. I think he's had 19-plus carries in every game so far this season. But regardless, he's had plenty of work. Uh, touchdowns in three or four games, like we said, 100-plus yards in three or four games. So our next guy will be uh, Jordan Mason, plus the Niners' money line at minus 150. We wrap up Collins, Chase, Mason, and the 49ers' money line. Comes up to plus 567. I know you guys can find some bonuses out there and boost that a little bit. Uh, it's, that's over at DK right now. It's plus 567 is what I got it at today. Before we do our long shot play, I want to let you guys know, use the code SPORT30. Get you guys $50 off. A 30-day all-access pass brings it let down to less than $6 per day. It's about the best deal you're going to get over at Sports Memo and Wager Talk. $6 a day for all access under six dollars a day it's about the best you're ever gonna see like i said use the code sport 30 it's the busiest sports month basically i mean there's other months obviously um march with march madness and stuff like that but october i mean we got mlb playoffs wnba playoffs nhl and nba right around the corner i have a five percent nfl play posted a four percent uh college football play of the week I am action in action tonight in the WNBA, and I will have MLB action for tomorrow as well. So you get a lot of bang for your buck over at sportsmemo.com. As always, there's a link to my action in the pin comment if you're looking to use that promo code. Again, it's Sport30 uh, for $50 off a 30-day all-access pass. So for the long shot, we're going to go to another receiver at tight end, though. Tucker Craft from the Green Bay Packers, plus 265 at DK. Over at FanDuel, it's great value at DK right now because FanDuel, he's only plus 200. Coming off his best game of the season, he caught six of nine passes for 53 yards and a touchdown, his first touchdown of the season against the Vikings. Green Bay, offense dealing with a ton of injuries. I don't expect Christian Watson to play. Uh, he's already taken over. Uh, for Luke Musgrave, but uh, he seems like he's unlikely to play. He has him in practicing, and now Romeo Dobbs has also missed practice due to personal issues, although I would expect him to play. But regardless, this Packers uh, offense is missing some key receivers. Um, he's had a big reception in every game, 17-plus yard reception in every game so far this season, 20-plus yards in three of those four games. And he's had his two best games with Love at quarterback with him scrambling it seems like he likes to target him as a as a safety blanket so let's go with tucker craft at plus 265 over at dk that's our long shot play well we don't necessarily include those in the records but for the record our official plays collins chase jordan mason plus the niners money line paydirt parlay plus 567 Let's go bring out the, I want to bring out that broom again when I shoot the week six video. If you guys enjoy the content, hit the like button on the way out. I always have free plays posted at Sports Memo as well as at X, and I'd appreciate it if you guys give me a follow at Steve's Book 22. Uh, good luck in your plays for week five, and I'll see you next time, guys.